Hey, here in the New Zealand viewers. So uh, we're back at the hotel after a pretty challenging uh, rally Mexico for us. Uh, we can put it down to uh, a steep learning curve if you like, uh, but nevertheless, uh, despite retiring on, on Friday with broken suspension, uh, we've been able to rejoin and complete all the stages on Saturday and Sunday, and uh, that's really good and, and also really important to, to gain that experience for next year. And particularly on these stages that have been the same for many, many years, uh, a lot of the top drivers know them very well, and, and we're having to learn them for the first time. So. In that respect, it's good. Uh, challenging rally, though, as I say. Um, we put ourselves in a position when we rejoined that we had to be sweeping the road yesterday, uh, which was very difficult. And then again today, our road position wasn't much better. But uh, in saying that, we were able to make some uh, some small gains today, um, change the driving style a little bit to be a little bit slower on the entry and, and try and focus more on the exit speed. And uh, I think we made some, some good improvements, some good split times. Uh, and then, of course, the, the last power stage uh, made a few little drive mistakes and lucky to get away with one moment in particular near the st uh, start of the stage. Uh, so it was an exciting way to finish the rally. But all in all, uh, really looking forward to Argentina now. Uh, we've got a, a lot that we can take away from this, this rally. Um, and, of course, we want to make sure we don't have a repeat of this result. So we're going to work hard over the next month while we're back home in New Zealand, uh, studying for the rally and, and, and learning on what we can improve on. So looking forward to it. Um, now, Hyundai New Zealand obviously have the winners of their, their model toy cars. Um, so we have the, the three winners here. We've got the questions, and they are uh, Hayley Slater asks, uh, Who do you look up to as a young driver learning the art of rally driving? Uh, well, for me, it was always uh, Colin McRae uh, and, and Possum Bourne, obviously the local uh, hero at home. And uh, Colin was, you know, he was, I guess, the, um, the, the image of rallying back in the 90s, early 2000s. and. Uh, you know, that attitude that he always had of never giving up and, and no matter whether he's last or first, just driving 100% flat out all the time and it was quite admir admirable. Um, Daniel Hill asks, how different is your car set up from the other drivers? Uh, the setups are all very personalised to each driver um, between the things that we can change on the car. Uh, the, the basis of the cars are very similar. There's some little upgrades that uh, we don't get um, at the same time as the, the official cars. Um, but eventually after two or three rallies they, they, they come down the chain to us so there's some little things like this uh, but nothing too dramatic um, really it just comes down to the driver's personal preferences in terms of setup as I say. Mark Brent uh, asks how much time do you have to spend studying uh, a circuit? Uh, well before the rally um, normally there's okay we have a bit of a break after this rally we have uh, four or five weeks but generally there's only two weeks between rallies so we'll spend most of this time studying onboard footage um, if we haven't done the event before, which is the case here in Mexico and the next one in Argentina, you, you try and find other people who's on board that you can study. Uh, and then, of course, you fine tune your pace notes. And then we have a two pass reconnaissance the week of the rally. Each night before the rally, we'll be watching the stages that we're doing the next day and basically trying to become familiar with the, the stages. You can't memorise them. You, you're talking uh, over three to 400 kilometres of different stages throughout a rally. So that's equivalent to driving Wellington to Auckland and remembering every inch of the road. So that's not possible, it's just about being familiar and being comfortable in the pace notes. So, uh, so that's the questions for this rally. Uh, remember to subscribe to Hyundai New Zealand's YouTube channel to get exclusive videos from us. And uh, now we look forward to Argentina uh, in April, so a little bit of a wait, but uh, hopefully it will come around quickly.